When we're young, there's often a ton of pressure imposed upon us to pick a career path, then stick to it. But that is not often the case. Sometimes you may spend most of your adult life fighting people in a boxing ring, then realize your true passion lies in entrepreneurship. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Here are eight boxers who went on to own successful businesses after a career in boxing. Be sure to stick around if you want to find out. Number eight, Sugar Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray Robinson is sometimes regarded as the best fighter ever to lace up a pair of gloves. This was because he was a relentlessly good fighter and had wide critical acclaim. But that's not all he possessed, no. The boxer turned businessman had a special talent with contract negotiations, a talent he turned into a thriving business. Unlike most boxers, this old school champ was a thriving businessman during his time as a boxer, not after retirement. He became an instrumental entrepreneurial force during the Harlem Renaissance, along a two-block strip on Harlem 7th Avenue from the mid-40s to the early 60s. More than that, he even opened up a bunch of stores storefront businesses that cater to the public specifically, like a Golden Gloves barber shop and a Sugar Ray quality cleaner service. He even opened up a lingerie store named Edna May's Lingerie Store. All in all, he even owned a nightclub for a while, one that catered to all sorts of celebrities of the time, like Frank Sinatra, Jackie Gleason, Nat King Cole, Dorothy Dandridge, and Eartha Kitt, and well-known sports figures such as his idol Joe Lewis and baseball greats Joe DiMaggio and Jackie Robinson. Unfortunately, this is one successful business endeavor that ended on a sad note. After his booming success, the boxer lost a few good investments, which later translated into most of his businesses and ended up hurting his businesses entirely. Number 7. Miguel Cotto Pro boxing champion Miguel Cotto has a few successful business stories of his own as he quietly runs a homegrown business empire and owns 13 gas stations and a dozen real estate properties. He used his earnings and savings from his career in boxing and invested in opportunities that will outlive his boxing career. He does not own luxury cars, nor does he live in a fancy house. He makes sense investment choices, and as such, has managed to own a proper conglomerate. Over the years, he's quietly diversified his assets and built businesses he knows and understands well. While his fighting skills are impeccable and don't leave a lot to be desired, it could be argued that Koto has an even better skill set when it comes to real-world application of strategies. He recently signed on with an up-and-coming agency, Rock Nation Sports, which is a calculated move in and of itself, one that guarantees him another feather in his cap. Number 6. James Markham. James Markham can attest to the fact that boxers make incredibly good business owners, or at least the statement rings true in his case. The 43-year-old from Washington, D.C., a part-time boxer, owns a full-time business, Project Pie. Project Pie started as a small yet fast and casual build-your-own-pizza company in 2012. Since then, the venture has gained intense momentum as Markham and his team have managed to open five locations in the U.S. alone, six in the Philippines, and plan to expand even further. In 2014, the company's average revenue added up to be approximately one $1.4 million annually. Markham, much like Calvin Brock, got into boxing at an early age, around 10 or 11, as he felt boxing to be a good outlet for his aggression issues. He did not get serious about it until the end of high school, though, at which point he started competing in amateur matches, then used his savings to open up Project Pie. Number 5. Hans Henrique Palm. Owner of his fitness center, sporting health club, and champion boxer, it's no surprise that Hans Henrique Palm has found his way onto this list. The fitness center is incredibly popular and an ode to his time boxing. Hans's boxing career came to an abrupt but celebrated spot when he busted his eye during a fight and still managed to win it. He took up boxing as a 12-year-old as a means to bond with his father. When he talked about his motivation while boxing, he claimed that his prime objective was to not get hit, and it's unquestionably true that his experience in the boxing ring awarded him the ability to be eerie calm, even in stressful situations, which is a marking of a great businessman, one that he is. The man does not take life too seriously, and encourages others to do the same. He lives life by his own professed rules and, as a result, has found both success and happiness in his life. Number 4. Calvin Brock Calvin Brock knew from a young age that he wanted to compete for a world championship, and it is this drive that helped him earn all that he has since. Brock fell in love with boxing at an early age when his uncle gifted him boxing gloves one Christmas. He worked incredibly hard to become a formidable opponent, and eventually the fruits of his labor started to become visible. As he was gearing up to go to the official boxing school, though, the funding fell short and Brock enrolled at Central Piedmont Community College and later transferred to the UNCC where he majored in finance. Now, equipped with both knowledge of business and trained to fight, he could be deemed invincible. The entrepreneur then launched his company, Jack and Landlords, a means to mutually benefit landlords, tenants, and owners with no security deposit leasing. The boxer worked as a leasing broker at the Nichols Company in Charlotte from 2008 to 2010, but after multiple deals fell through for him due to the recession, he decided to solve his own problem. Number 3. John Luigi 
Ventry. A big name in both the boxing and the business industry, John Luigi Ventry has decisively earned this place on this list. The former boxer always knew he wanted to be an entrepreneur one day, and after facing multiple trials and tribulations, he's managed to cultivate a successful business, namely a finance company, which teaches individuals how to trade, manage their money in a way that would help them build wealth and increase overall sales. And the man has taken a lot of his boxing strategies and applied them to his business, and as such, managed to lay a strong foundation. He claimed that he had seen his fair share of failures, but remembering where he came from and what's truly important to him helps him maintain objectivity. That his failure doesn't need to be forgotten, but to be assessed like boxers watch themselves after a match to improve their performances. Nowadays, Ventry has hundreds of clients that he handpicked who learn the art of the trade from him, and he's able to work from virtually anywhere in the world. Number 2. Floyd Mayweather Jr. No conversation about boxers who ended up making waves in the business world is complete without mentioning the impressive work of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Known to be one of the most dangerous boxers inside of the ring, Floyd managed to somehow elevate that reputation outside of the ring with his sheer genius. The man has secured multiple world titles in around five weight classes throughout his illustrious career. His business, or shall we say businesses, since there are many, allowed him to dominate the business world as he had dominated the boxing ring. To name a few of his endeavors, they are his absolute money show, his roller skate park, inaugurated Mayweather Promotions, adult club The Girl Collection, his racing investments, and multiple stock investments. And these are just his business ventures that we are aware of. Who knows what else the 44-year-old has in store for his predictably lavish future. He is also the highest earning boxer in history and holds the majority of the top grossing pay-per-view fight records from his career. So it would not be insane to deem him one of the greatest business-inclined minds to ever come out of the boxing industry. And number one, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Only a few headers short than Mayweather in terms of popularity, Saul Alvarez has managed to make just as intense an impact over the boxing industry. And while his in-game fighting is as strong as ever, Alvarez has managed to create a startlingly large fortune outside of his boxing accolades as well. Like Mayweather, Alvarez has investments in multiple businesses, all of which are booming at the moment. His business endeavor, a brand of hats and clothing, is just one means of his income. Another is the gas stations he owns, titled Canelo Energy. And he's planning to expand on the latter. He wants to open a whopping 100 of these gas station branches all over Mexico in the next few years, but admits that he was in one of the most important and difficult moments of his business career. But that isn't all. The boxer also owns a lot of real estate, out of which he gets the rest of his income, about $5 million per quarter. And that's not even all. The boxer has other side businesses like a boxing promotion agency and other stock investments. Talk about a brilliant strategist. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get notified every time we post a new video.